right now, I want to welcome in a man who has become a regular for the Delta Jackpot weekend there at Delta Downs, uh, one of the legendary voices of the game, Dave Johnson. Dave, good afternoon. How are you? Oh, just great, Scott. Uh, great seeing you, you uh, in California, Breeders' Cup week. But uh, this is also a great celebration of the thoroughbred down here in Vent, Louisiana. They love horse racing down here, Scott. They sure do. And, boy, have they made an impact on uh, on the, the racing schedule with this race in a, just a short amount of time. When you look at some of the past champions that have rolled through the Delta jackpot, uh, most certainly Big Drama, eventual Breeders' Cup Sprint winner, Golden Sense, two-time Breeders' Cup winner, and then last year, Exaggerator, who came on and had a tremendous three-year-old campaign. And this really, it, it, there are a lot of horses in this race. In fact, I don't think there's a single horse that you can discount when you look at the at this group of, of horses that will be lining up tomorrow for the million. Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, the longest price in the morning line at 15 to 1 from Kenny McPeak's barn, a pat on the back, pat on the back, is my second choice. So, yeah, I would not be surprised if any of any of the horses in here won. And, you know, it, it started out, I'm sure, because this was a, a, a free ticket to the Kentucky Derby when they used to have that, uh, whoever had the most earnings. But now it's not that. It's points. But still, it, this is a, a really important stop for the two-year-olds as they move into their three-year-old year. Yeah, getting the mile and a 16th test, a, a unique race course setup that is something that is not regular with the, this, the bull ring setup, as we call it, there at Delta Downs. Uh, just quickly, your thoughts on, on Gunavera, the, the expected favorite, 5-2 to two on the morning line. Castellano is back aboard. Disappointed last time out uh, at Keeneland as they stretched him out at, that afternoon. Did Antonio Sano... How do you uh, fit him amongst this uh, grouping tomorrow? Uh, he's he's my top choice, and for a couple reasons, Scott. First of all, uh, the, the idea that Javier Castellano would come back to ride him. He didn't ride him last time uh, at Keeneland. He rode him in the Saratoga Special, which he came from off the pace and got a very nice uh, uh, buyer and thoroughgraph number. But I like him also because he's training at, uh, at the old Calder racetrack, uh, Gulfstream Park West, that's where Gourmet Dinner trained before he came and won the uh, million-dollar jackpot. I just like uh, a lot of the combinations on this horse. And, um, you know, I think that th there's speed in the race, so I see this horse coming from off the pace. And Javier Castellano, you don't get any better than that. There, there's no question. Multiple Eclipse-winning jockey and uh, right back in the spot to perhaps pick up another one come mid-January down in South Florida for his uh, campaign in 2016. The outside horse prepped locally for Steve Asmussen. We have seen him do this in the past. Steve won this race a few years back with a horse by the name of Sabercat with the same rider, Gerard Melanson. And, uh, you know, as, as much success as, as, say, a Kent DeSormo or Javier Castellano, you want to lean on them on the national stage. Melanson may be the ticket uh, around this oval at Delta Downs. Man, he, he is so good. He's, he's winning at 34%. But, you know, Scott, I, I don't like tip-tap. Tapazar in this race, but I do like the combination of Steve Asmussen and Gerard Melanson in the four hundred thousand dollar Princess, which is the race before. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look for them in the winner circle, but a race earlier than the jackpot. Yeah, well, we'll get to that in just a bit. So give me your top three. I know you like Gunavera, Pat on the back two. Who's your third horse in this race? The jack jackpot. Um, I like Lion Judge, the two horses, my third choice. Joe Sharp, he seems to have an improving horse. Uh, the horse keeps getting better in, in my numbers. He's won his last three. And, um, you know, although this is not a, a household name jockey, C.G. McMahon, he's very good down here. And, you know, so he knows the territory. But Joe Sharp is a very good trainer. And he might have a really nice uh, two-year-old this year, three-year-old next year. Yeah, he sure has the looks of it uh, off of his last three races and just his career as a whole. So the jackpot is the feature. But you mentioned the Delta Princess and uh, looking at the honor roll of horses that have come through here. It's amazing to think uh, just a few years back during her two-year-old campaign that the great champion Teppin won the Delta Princess and what she has done since that victory. Amazing, isn't it? I mean, and, and uh, Mark Cassie and his son have done just a tremendous job in managing her. And it, for me, uh, in spite of the Breeders' Cup races, what she did at Royal Ascot was 
absolutely sensational. So, yeah, and that all started down here at uh, at Delta Downs when winning the Princess. And who knows, you might have another really superstar in here. But uh, it's really a great showcase for young horses. It sure is. And Golden Mischief, you you, you referenced her. Uh, is she your top selection to the Princess? Oh yeah, and, and I'm going to single her in my in the uh, uh, this. Uh, they've got an all stakes pick four with a 12 12 percent uh, takeout. Yeah, I like the uh, two times ago she ran a three on the thoroughgraph numbers. That's incredible. You know that was at at, uh, at Churchill Downs in an allowance race September 22, and you know still won on the bounce last time out. So I think they've got a lot of good things coming. And you got to ask me. And actually, it's uh, Florent Giroux riding this horse in the uh, in the Princess. So boy, that that really looks nice. Sure does. And Dave, uh, I wish we could spend more time with you, but uh, we unfortunately have to let you go. But uh, enjoy the weekend down there at Delta. We know that you will, and good luck in playing that uh, that all-stakes pick four. I'll save some gumbo for you. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs>